What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so... Yeah, in our last episode, we managed to get the Mega Evolution Stone, Mega Evolution Bracelet, and all that stuff for our Pokemon. And, uh, you know, we defeated Karina for a third time. And uh, now, we're going to be getting the heck out of here because we, we've already completed everything. Um, Let's see, what else? We got ourselves a new Pokemon as well, a Lucario. We named it uh, Goku. Roughly so. And, well, there has been a small change to our team. Yes, I did take out Pikachu, Aaliyah the Pikachu right here, because, well, in the next route, we will be getting a new Pokemon that we want. Uh, but there's going to be, like, maybe one or two things that is going to be on the way from here. So, once you're about to leave Shalur City, you're going to get stopped right here by your first girlfriend. That's right, the beautiful one, Serena. Hey, neighbor, you should use this. We get ourselves the HM03 Surf, which is a very, very good move to travel over water. So that, that right there enables us to do a buttload of things. If you use the HM Surf, you can travel over the water. I think uh, I think about it, it's kind of amazing how a person like you came to Kalos and it uh, ended up traveling with me. It's like destiny in a way. It is, baby. It really is. Okay, so let's go on to the next route right here. Now, let's see, there isn't a lot that you can do. Pokemon scene, I'm a Pokeball, ich sitz auf den ist tut. Um, do you not know what that means? I really don't. And, uh, know what, the Skittle in a ranch are surprisingly comfortable to ride. Oh, that's cool, that's very, very cool. So now, let's go right ahead to Route 12. Now, if you talk to this individual right here, he's like, Th this kind of Lapras here once saved me from drowning. I feel bad though. I can't afford to travel around and show it why the the wide world round beyond these parts. Hey, I've got an idea. You've got a rumble badge. You must be strong and seasoned traveler. Would you mind taking Lapras on you uh, with your journey? Yes, I will. And here it is, guys. We got ourselves a Lapras. By the way, it's not it's not the sixth Pokemon that I want. And uh, yes, we're gonna give it a nickname because we've had Lapras before. Let's give it the good old nickname. Nessie. That's right. Nessie the Lapras right here because it is a pretty cool Pokemon. Very awesome Pokemon. Lapras, it's time for you to move on. Go out and swim your hearts con uh, to your heart's content all across Kalos. Although there's not a lot of uh there is not a lot of water here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Nessie right here. And as you can see, it is already at level 30, a water and ice type Pokemon. Does have water absorb and uh, well, let's see. It has pretty good moves like water pulse. Body Slam, Rain Dance, and Parish Song. And when you look at this right here, it's a pretty docile Pokemon right here, so it's pretty good. Very, very good. Now, like I said before, it's not going to be the Pokemon that we want for our sixth team member, our sixth and final team member. So we're going to go back to the PC and put it back right there. So let's go right ahead and uh, get in this uh, Pokemon Center right here. Let's go... And uh, let's see, what do we do right here? Let's go ahead and organize our Pokemon. Now, if you've noticed, both our Pikachus are missing. That is because I put them in the battle box. Eventually, I will be training them just to be more badasses to keep up right here. Because apparently, uh, my niece doesn't like it when we don't use her Pokemon. I kept on telling her, hey, you know, we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna do a different. We're gonna do it differently right here in Pokemon X. So, uh, oh, wait. Yep, I just remembered something. <laughs> Before we leave, I gotta get another Pokemon because there is a there are certain areas right here that need the cut technique. And let's go straight to the Pokemon box again and get ourselves Mr. Teeny. Mr. Teeny right here has been doing a lot and mooching off a lot of uh, a, a lot of levels right here. So let's go right ahead and use the bike and now let's get ready for our, our little travels right here now going into route 11 you'll actually find some pretty interesting pokemon chatot slowpoke uh what was it miltank tauros those kinds of pokemon right there and well we're gonna be going straight for the repel right here and taking care of a lot of businesses and there we go can't pass through this, so we're going to use the cut technique right here, and look at that. We're going to be cutting, we're going to be going, and we are going to be finding another Aspir Berry right here. That's always good. And 
Well, of course, I'm using a repel. Do not want to get attacked by any Pokemon right here. And here we found ourselves a honey. Which is always good, too. Okay, so let's not use another repel right here. And let's see. Talk to this guy. Azure Bay. Everything, including life, comes in from a great ocean. This is so true. Very, very true. And there's an individual there waiting for us to battle him. So we're going to be going straight for the uh, TMHMs. And now that we got served, we can actually teach that to... Hold on just a sec. We can teach that to Kakashi Hitake right here. All right, let's go. Let's get this move on the road. All right, so let's see. I'm going to take away Water Pulse since... I, I'm assuming a Water Shiruken is a... Is a... Is a uh, what was it called? It, it's a uh, personalized move for just... Uh, what's his face? And... Let's see. Well, let's go right ahead. And start surfing off. And, well, look at that. First time for surfing. It's going to be good. And crap baskets. We're going to be getting attacked by Pokemon right here. And here is a Tentacool. Something that, you know, we haven't captured in quite some time right here. Um, let's see. I think, eh, like, well, like, I'll tell you this right now, guys. Uh, as I'm recording this whole thing, it's uh, going to be 10 episodes all together. So from episode, I would like to say maybe 15 to 25, I think. I don't know what episodes we're on. 22, probably. I don't know. Yes, episode 22. Swimming alone, swimming alone. Oh, yeah. Episode 25. Yeah. From episode 25, then we're going to be going to capture more Pokemon because, yeah, that's pretty much what I like to do. But if you do see my Pokemon all leveled up, it's mainly because, you know, I've been capturing a buttload of Pokemon on here. Now, I did teach Godzilla 3 a new move, which is Baldos. Look at that. And Quillfish. Using that uh, spike, uh, toxic spikes right there. So here we go, another Baldos. Let's get it. And... Alrighty, okay, look at that. Take care of business, and look at that guy. Three, level 34, Kakashi, level 37, and Binacle. So we're going to be switching off our Pokemon right here. Now it's time to get Bonesaw all up to level 30. Now, it would be useful to have uh, Aaliyah right here, but yeah. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be a trip right there. And unfortunately, we get poisoned. Oh, God. Okay, so uh, let's see. Strength attack will do it. So there we go. Still somewhat of a rock type Pokemon. Here comes that rock polish just to speed up its uh it, it, its speed and all that crud. And well, we're gonna get hurt by poison right here. Alright, let's go. Dragon Rage for the win. Oh god, oh god. It's still speeding up, and here we go. Dragon Rage. There we go. No more binacle. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Mr. Teeny mooching off levels and is learning Leech Seed, which, well, okay, let's go ahead and teach it some moves while we're at it. I mean, there's only like maybe one or two places where it can actually learn some stuff. So, there we go. We defeated Alessandro from Italy. I wonder if they're going to make a Pokemon walk or a Pokemon game from Italy and all that stuff. I don't know. We will find out soon. And, well, let's go ahead and use a full heal right here. Eventually, you can actually buy more full heals down in the, in the Kalos region. So let's go ahead and start walking by. And, well, there's a trainer here waiting for us. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and use our newest Pokemon right here, Goku. And we'll see what, ha what ends up happening right now. So, here it is. I grew tired of the city life and decided to wander the world. I'm not aiming for anywhere in particular. Okay, let's get this. Backpacker Joran wants to battle Lanoon, and I, I guess I chose correctly right here. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. Let's get this. Lanoon, you're gonna get uh, beaten right here. Power up punch. And no, that almost takes care of this Pokemon right here, but here comes its Odor Sleuth. Yeah, I still don't get the method to these Pokemon trainers just using, like, you know, power up moves when they know they're gonna get beaten. And bam. No more. No less, Goku getting its levels, and Backpacker Jordan gets defeated right there. 
Alrighty. Okay, so we're doing a great thing right here. And I think there's just one more place right here where you can actually cut, right? I think. Could be wrong. Alright, so... Here we are. And I'm not going to use a repel because there is a specific Pokemon here that I need. But before we do that, let's go ahead and cut this thing. Look at that. Bam, we're cutting. Alright, so let's grab this and we found ourselves leftovers. And of course, that's a very, very good item to actually heal up our Pokemon. So, our last Pokemon that we're going to be capturing that's going to be involved in our team. Of course, we are missing the Johto Pokemon. And if you guys have an idea of what we're going to get, then it, w it shouldn't be a surprise. And no, it is not going to be Execute. I'm sorry. I mean, I know. You guys wanted a... Uh, what was it? Uh, what did I name it? Oh, e e Execumon, yeah. But that's not the Pokemon we're going to get. So we're going to just keep on running around, seeing what we can find. And look at that. We found ourselves a Mil Tank. Now, I could capture this Mil Tank because they are pretty rare to find, but eh, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen right now. So let's go right ahead and continue to find this Pokemon. So let's go. And here's a Chantant. Definitely not the Pokemon I wanted. Okay, let's go. We're gonna get away from this. Okay, so let's go right ahead and, and continue to find Pokemon. Come on, where are you? Come on. Daddy needs you. And, wow. How is it that we find the two rivers Pokemon in this area? Both a Tauros and a Miltank before the Pokemon that we want. Come on. Where is you? Come on, come on, where is you? This looks like a horde. Come on! Damn it. Okay, well. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah, definitely not what we wanted. Looked like a horde! God dang, come on! We gotta find it. We gotta find it. We really do. We gotta find that Pokemon. Come on, and yeah, this, okay, it's a god dang mail tank. Uh, Oh man, this is going to be a while. This is going to be a friggin' while right now. So let's go ahead one more time and see if we can actually find this guy. And come on. Nope, Bill Tank's uh, older brother Taros. Looks like these guys want to get tackled, tackle, or want to get, uh, want to get what you might call it, uh, captured right here by me. So let's go ahead one more time. Come on. Come on, come on, let it be, god dang it. So how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Pretty good, awesome, great, I don't know. I'm feeling great because I'm trying to locate this Pokemon. It's always a bitch to find. Okay, so, come on, come on sweet baby Jesus. Nope, it's a Tauros, you know what? You know what, I'm, I'm just gonna straight up just gonna like, start using Mega Punch and just level up my Goku right here. Alrighty, let's do this. Come on. Where is you? Where is you? Okay, okay, here we go. A horde. Come on. And there you are, guys. So, the next Pokemon on the team is going to be a Mareep. It wasn't so much of a surprise right here for you guys. So, let's go right ahead and start eliminating every Mareep one by one. So, we go Bone Rush. That takes one Mareep out. Now remember, you can only capture one Mareep. And here comes a Thundershock. Crud baskets. And here comes a, uh, a Cotton Spore. Going up against five Mareeps with Cotton Spores, that's going to be bad right there. And here goes a Growl. And there we go. And thankfully, we did not get paralyzed. So let's go right ahead and go with the Mareep. Now, sometimes you'll be able to get like a shiny Mareep and stuff. Or a Mareep with a another specific move, because I believe Mareep have uh, what was it? I think they do have uh, what was it? Uh, static as their effect. And here comes another Thunder Shock. And thankfully, we did not get paralyzed right there. Oh god. Okay, so yeah, Lucario's getting its butt kicked right now. So let's go ahead and defeat another Mareep. There we go. Oh crud. So that was the strongest one right there. Usually is. Alright, so we got one more Mareep to go, and this guy's just gonna be cotton sporing us. Come on. 
God dang it. Yeah, so Lucario is just like, it's, its stats are depleted. Oh my god, okay. Let's finish this guy off right here. Bone Rush for the win, and... Oh wait, never mind, my, my attack has been low. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so everybody's uh, getting... Everybody's gone, we got one more Mareep, and this guy is the one that paralyzes us, so... Let's go right ahead and... Just try and capture the Pokemon, I really don't care now. Uh, hmm, let's go with... Let's see, I, I like to mess around with the kind of Pokeball, so let's go with a Timer Ball right here. Come on, stay in the Pokeball, stay in the Pokeball, stay in the ball. God dang it. Alright, so here comes a Thundershock, not for the win. I'm already paralyzed and it's not going to really do much, so let's go ahead and continue on right here. Let's throw a Premier Ball. I could switch it up to, or I could switch it to a Bone Saw right here. Stay one. God dang it. Yeah, I could go with Bone Saw. You know what? I'm probably going to have to weaken this guy right here because... That's not going to work out like this. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Mr. Teeny right here. Alrighty, Mr. Teeny, you're looking pretty badass. Alright, do, do us a service right here and, and help us capture this Pokemon right now. And, well, let's see. I'm going to be safe about this. I don't know how strong Mr. Teeny is, and good God! Alright, this... 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 This Mareep is being a little stubborn right now, so here we go, cut. Comes a Thundershock, not so effective. Here we go, Mr. Teeny with the cut, and... Alright, let's go again, cut again. There we go, and there we go. Okay, so... What kind of Pokeball are we going to use right here? You know what, let's go with a Luxury Ball. I don't think I've ever captured a Pokemon with a Luxury Ball. There it is, black Pokeball, stay in the ball, stay in the god dang ball, stay in there, and... God dang it! Well... Yeah, this Mareep... You know this Mareep is good when it doesn't want to get captured, so... Let's see... I gotta take a look at, uh... Let's see, I gotta take a look at what I... What poke Or what, what I actually, uh... How, how I captured these Pokemon. Or it doesn't even show. All right, screw it. Uh, let's see. Let's go with not with the net. Uh, oh wait, it's one out of one. Okay, so let's just go. Let's go with a nest ball right here. It is weaker than my Pokemon, or, or I don't even know. Let's go. Come on, come on. Stay in the ball. Bam. And there you go, guys. We caught ourselves a Mareep. And that took us like about four or five minutes. And Mr. Teeny, of course, grows to level 17. Thank you. And... Well, that is the next Pokemon on our team. Mareep, the wool Pokemon, two feet, or 17 pounds. Its fluffy coat swells to double when the static electricity builds up. Touching it can be shocking. Alrighty. And we already got a nickname for this Pokemon right here. Thankfully, in Pokemon, uh, what was it? Heart Gold. Actually, hold on. I gotta, I gotta uppercase this thing right here. So, as you guys already know, it does have a nickname. I bequeath to you the nickname Fluff Vault. That's right. Now it's with two, uh, two Fs right here because you can. So there it is, Fluff Vault for the win. And yes, it has been transferred to box number one. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm actually going to go straight to uh, what was it? Yeah, I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center, switch out my Pokemon, and we'll be good to go, I guess. I hope. I don't even know. Pokemon took a beating right here. And then hopefully evolve it in this episode, because we still got a lot of stuff to do right here, guys. Okay, so let's go back to Shalur and talk to people right here. So, actually, hold on. Right here. And we're going to do this. We're going to be switching out our Pokemon. Let's go back to Mr. Teeny right here. And let's get Fluffle right here. And look at that. So that completes the team right there. And, well... Can't leave without healing your Pokemon right now. So let's okay with it. Two, three, four, five, six Pokemon right there. So in this game right here, we've caught... 
Well, we have a Pokemon in every, uh, well, we've caught a Pokemon in every generation from Kanto all the way to Kalos right here. I don't think you'll be able to do that in the next few generations since, you know, I think we're already up to level, like, generation 8 or something like that. So, that's pretty cool right there. And, well, let's see. First is first. We gotta use repels. Has to use the repels. And... Now the adventure begins right here by just going into the water and not getting attacked by any Pokemon right here. So now, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Fluffvolt. And it's at level 13 right now. So, as you can see, Electric-type Pokemon, its biggest stat is Special Attack. And, of course, it still has Growl, Thunder Wave, the Thunder Shock, and Cotton Spore. And, well, it's a serious nature. So it's going to be a good Pokemon for, I guess, Attack, I think? I don't know. Probably. I don't even know. So, let's move on right here. We got a lot to uh, to explore. Going right here, Badir, uh, the Badir Mer Ranch. I don't even know how to pronounce that, but... Going right here, you're going to be talking to the owners, and I think they're going to be giving you something nice. Let's see. Talk to this girl. I love Skido so much, I feel like I've been hit with an attract move. Here, take this move. Uh, see how I feel. And here we have the TM45 attract, which, of course, attracts any Pokemon of different genders. And talk to this guy. You can't pick up items from the ground while on the back of Skido. It would be uh, poor manners after all. Well, that is true. Very, very, very true. So let's go right ahead and uh, see what he's talking about. So now, you can only go on the backs of Skittos if they're standing up. So let's go right ahead and just speed on away. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Look at that. He's just a speedster. Look at that. Okay, look at this. You can get off it by pressing B, but look at this guy. He's just going everywhere, and you can actually go through through this gate right here, but you won't be battling any Pokemon trainers, nor Pokemon. So you're going to have to return it back right here, so look at that. It's a pretty fast Pokemon right there. So let's go ahead and grab those items, and... Huh. I guess it won't... Yeah, it won't go through the stairs, so... Time to get off, and go on to the next Skittle right here. So let's get on to this Skittle right here. Come on. Where are you? Come on. Skill, you gotta let me get on. Let me mount you, you asshole. <laughs> that didn't came out right. So let's get that item right there. And let's see. There it is. And beating off that Skiddo. Of course, I, you know, I put it on the on the way that it's blocking. Wow, that's hilarious. Okay, right here. Now we're getting off, and here we go. We found ourselves a Whip Dream, which is a held item that can actually evolve a Pokemon, a certain Pokemon. And I think that's pretty much it right there. Let's see, there's nothing else in the horizon except for this right here, which we will travel. Actually, let's go right here. There is an item right here, too, that we need to get. And that is this little item right here. Found ourselves a Shiny Stone. Which I think can be used to evolve a, uh, well, not a Gardevoir, but uh, what you would call it, uh, you know, it's a pre-evolve form, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So, that is pretty much that for this guy. Now, let's get the heck out. This guy's still right here, <laughs> being loyal as hell. It is time for us to move on and get to the next town, which we already saw on the horizon right there. So, let's get this right here. Alrighty, so we got Pokemon trainers ready to battle us. Let's go for easy victories and use some of our stronger Pokemon right here, like Godzilla and Kakashi, and let's see how that fares. So here's another trainer. You're about to find out how just good, how strong my family is. Really? You don't say. Okay, so here we go. Pokemon breeder Amala wants to battle, and she's coming out with her her, her pretty cool uh, Pokemon right there. So let's go. So Viper versus Godzilla, and let's go with a Bulldoze since we finally know how to use it. Look at that. Super powerful. Did not make it faint, but it did, does lower its speed, and good god. Just my luck, we get paralyzed. Okay, so let's go right ahead with a Flame Burst. And of course, we're not fast enough right now. So let's go, Flame Burst. For the win. There you go. And look at that. Okay, alrighty. And Fluffle is gaining levels already. 
So here she's coming out with a mill tank. So let's go with Goku right here. Let's get this. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's go. So, mill tank. I'm looking at you. You wouldn't leave me alone. So I'm going to go with a power up punch. Hopefully we finish you off right here. And it doesn't, but it powers me up. Just like it says. And... Oh, damn. Nearly does it. So here we go. Another power up punch. There we go. And that is how you do it. And look at that. Goku grows to level 33. Kicking butt, taking names. And it's using... Or it's about to learn Quick Guard. So let's see what this actually does. Uh, let's see. Quick Guard. Use protects itself and its allies from priority moves. Which would which would have to be like a uh, Quick Attack right there. And no, I'm going to keep the old moves because... Uh, yeah, I don't really need... Don't really need it. Don't really mind getting hit by uh, priority moves. And look at that. Fluff Bolt grows to level 15. And... Well, it's learning charge right there. So we're going to be switching it out. There we go. Alrighty, so it learned charge. And Amala has been defeated. And we all know what happens right here, guys. Level 15. Fluff Bolt. Evolving. Alrighty, so who... who Who'd ever thought that, like in the same episode, capturing Fluff Bolt, you'd actually evolve it? I mean, it's probably the experience and the amount of, uh, well, the level that you actually captured it. It makes it so much easier to evolve, so, I'm, I'm, like, in no time, we will actually get the Fluff Bolt's final evolution right here. Probably before Pokemon Heart Gold and all that. And look at that. It looks pretty powerful. Okay, so, moving on forward. Let's see, what else can we uh, battle right here? Well, there's another trainer right here, so... Again, gotta heal up our Pokemon. Gotta heal him up, gotta heal him up. Gotta heal him up, gotta heal him up. Yep. And Well, I could always use Mega Evolution, but really I'm not trying to I'm not trying to wait on that stuff. My swarm of bug Pokemon is the tip top shape of buzzing for a battle. You don't say. Okay, so here we go. Youngster Aiden wants the battle and he's coming with his Yanma. And I'm coming out with a good old Godzilla 3. Hopefully, hopefully nothing bad happens right here. Alrighty, so here we go. Flame Burst. Flame Burst takes care of that. Yama, no longer victorious and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. He's going to come out with a Motham. Pretty good Pokemon right there. Motham. Alright, here we go. Flame Burst. Yeah. Look at that. Another Pokemon that has been defeated. My Godzilla number three. Look at that. Alrighty, and Fluff Bolt, of course, growing levels without doing anything. And then he's or he's gonna be coming out with a Whirlipede. Not much of a danger for us. You know what? Godzilla's gonna have his way with him. So here we go. Bam. Flame uh, or Flame Burst takes care of that. And no more Pokemon. Gaia 3 grows level 35, and Bonesaw finally reaches level 30. Wow, Fluff Volt, look at that. Level 17, growing levels easily. This is so freaking awesome right here. Okay, so let's move on. There is more, more stuff on the way. We got one more trainer. And this guy is going to want to battle. He's like, I like to bury my face in the fur of the Tauros and neck and take its uh, big whiff of its scent. It's a jinx for a battle, I hear. Why would you do... Okay, never mind. I'm not even going to question people's traditions or, or rituals and all that stuff, but that kind of sounds a little sick right there. Pretty sure you get, like, pink eye or something. I don't know. If, if unless uh, Tauros' is, uh, fur is, like, magical or something. All right, here we go. Enough, you know, criticizing people's rituals and all that stuff. I do have rituals for myself if and when I play football and all that. And look at that. And, well, Tauros is coming out. I know who to bring out. Let's go with Goku. We got ourselves a good Pokemon right here. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, Foster. Time to take this L right here. He's intimidating us. Not for long. He's got one more Pokemon. So let's make it big. Let's go with Power Up Punch. There we go. And we're regaining that, that attack back. And, well... Not so effective, so let's go ahead and finish this guy off with Power Up Punch. And that is it. Look at that. Taros has been defeated. 
I feel good. Fluffolt growing levels and Foster's has been defeated. Okay, alrighty, so that is pretty much it right there, guys, and well, we're gonna stay put right here. Before we enter the next city, we're gonna stay put right here because there is something that we kinda want need to visit before we get into the next city. So Thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, it's going to get very interesting, and hopefully we'll evolve another Pokemon here and there and stuff, so... I don't know. We'll see. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.